Welcome to 600 Seconds. Today we have a guest that is synonymous with winning, synonymous with legendary, synonymous with being the most followed blackout player in the world, Twitch streamer, my man, Tyler T. My man, World Call of Duty, Call of Duty World Champion, Tyler T.P. Polchow. Did I say that right? Nailed it. Polchow. 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 Where, where, where does that come from? Uh, I always thought it was Polish descent, but it's actually a German last name. Fun oh, fact. Very cool. Yeah. Have you ever done uh, 23 and Me or Ancestry? I, I kind of wanted to. You should. It does bring a lot of uh, things into question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I've, I've experienced situations where there are people that that try that do it, and then grandma out there somewhere wasn't with grandpa, Whoa. and grandpa wasn't really my grandpa. Whoa. Not mine, but I mean, we're good. But you know, <laughs> I, I, some people from uh, from other industries that I ran into have that. Anyway, so six hundred seconds, TP. You don't, you're, you're not on a time clock. You can answer what you want to answer. You can not answer what you don't want to answer. Okay. So the first time I always ask this to everybody: What is the most dumb thing that you've spent money on recently? Most dumb thing I've spent money on recently. I got nothing, man. I've just been streaming so much. I, uh, I haven't spent any, I guess drinks at a bar. Yeah. The dumbest thing. Everybody says that. Yeah. Uh, everybody drinks at that, a bar. The majority of the people that, that have been on this podcast say, you know, bottle service. Yeah. yeah. What is the one thing that you bought recently that you were just like, you know, it's expensive, but I need it because I, I deserve it. Um, or have you not done that? Basically just clothes. Yeah, yeah, a little cl- clothes revamp. Treated yourself? Yeah, a little bit. I do that. Uh, I do that with shoes. Every so often, I just yeah. be like, ah, I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I... Yeah, shoes are probably next for me. Yeah. What? What? Uh, what is, are you a sneakerhead? Do you like? Uh, shoes? Not really. No. I, no. I might have to talk talk to you a little bit. Yeah, I, I, I got your back, man. With. Yeah. Uh, very very fun story about me and sneakers is when I was eight years old, I um, I used to wear my dad's size eleven shoes, and I was like a like an eight. Mm-hmm. And I, I only wore them, and they were big. Like I, obviously, like my my, right. I, were, and they were too big for me. I looked like a clown. But I still used to steal them, or you know, wear them without his knowing because I wanted variety in my, in in, in my wardrobe. And uh, and I've always fresh. yeah, I've always been into into shoes. And as a kid, I didn't have them. So now that as an adult, that I'm able to afford them, I just buy what I what yeah. I want when I can. Right. Um, who is your celebrity crush? You don't have to answer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vanessa Ann Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens is uh, the Glee, or no, what's her, where's she from? I don't know. Uh, basically, like, I don't know, people my age will know her from, like, back in the high school musical days. I don't know what the high hell High school musical, she was with, uh, what's his name? The Zac dude. Efron. Zac Efron. Yeah, when they were younger, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. <laughs> it's my man, uh, Zac it's, Efron. It's either her or Hayden Panettiere. Hayden Panettiere, she is the cheerleader from Save the Cheerleader, Save the World. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? From I Heroes? So. Yeah. You yeah, remember yeah. Heroes? Yeah, I remember she Heroes. was in Heroes. I don't remember the other one. No. Um, who is your wife's celebrity crush? Uh, it was Gerard Butler for a while. I think now it's switched over to Channing Tatum. Yeah. From Magic Mike. Did she watch Magic Mike? I'm sure she did. Yeah. Did you watch Magic Mike with her? Uh, I think I watched part of it, actually. Yeah. Wasn't a big fan. No, it's not, not for me. I don't know if Jude <laughs> has ever, ever, ever watched that, but <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where it's just like, eh, are, are you there or are you not? Um, favorite book ever? Hmm. I'm not much of a reader, to be honest. I'll probably just go with the Harry Potter series. So you actually did read them? I read all the Harry Potters, but other than that... Did you, watch, really did you like the movie better than the, than the book? Um, pretty even for me, actually. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, who is the best team that is currently competing against us? So obviously not us. Who is our number one rival right now? Oh, pff, tough between United and Splice. I'll say United. United? Mm-hmm. So our cities and uh, impressed and duo. Yep, they're nasty. They are nasty. And Clay leading it. Just, uh, they just got second against us. So yeah, look, the the thing about Clay is that you can never like Pat. You can never count him out. Mm-hmm. He's nasty. Gonna and, be and a that's, contender. That, that's what it is. Period. Like one of those people that are just like, I'm here to stay. Fuck everybody. Um, who is the worst team in the league right now? Um, that have made it. Probably one of the new qualifiers that already made a roster change. Who's the best player in the in the game right now? Dashy. Hundred percent. Easily. Who's the second best player in the game? I'm going to throw the goat some love. Karma. Yeah? He's nasty? He's nasty. Yeah. Especially recently in scrims. Yeah? The guy's been a beast. Does he do shit? Just the, does he continue to do the things that... Just grapples, the grab slam. He's just been frying, man. Yeah, he's, still, he's, had, he's got that movement. When you yeah, have movement... He's got that swagger back a little bit, yeah? I think, too. From, uh, from Black Ops 2, nobody had a better, better movement than him. He just knew... He didn't have to look where he was going to jump sideways to. He was just yep. going to land on that platform. He just does whatever he wants on the map. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. What is, uh, what is one thing that you regret 
doing uh, in, in your life? Hmm. Maybe not being as good of a friend or like keeping up with friendships enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I got really involved with the whole gaming scene and competing and stuff like that. So I guess just maintaining friendships with people. Yeah, you know what helped me was uh, fantasy football and yeah. fishing. You know, I, I always say, so soccer may have been a, a good way for, for you to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, what is one thing that you want to accomplish by the end of this year? Um, 200K subs on YouTube. And what's that YouTube? YouTube.com slash TPCOD. We're right. like 75,000. So right let, now, let's so. help him out. If you guys are watching, go, go subscribe. Uh, his information is down below. Do you have a song in your current library that you listen to in private? And if somebody walked in while you were listening to, you'd be a little embarrassed about. Um, try to think of something that might be embarrassing. I don't think so. Maybe some like all American rejects, something that might be a little girly or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is uh, what is the most foolish thing you've ever done for love? Hmm. Foolish. Yeah. Not foolish. Lighthearted. You know, yeah. embarrassing. Uh, for the one of the wife's birthday presents, I made her a birthday wrap that was very cringy. A birthday wrap? Yeah, like a wrap for her birthday. Like a song? Like a song. What it, tell me. Oh, I like, don't remember. Tell me a I couple gotta lines. She might have saved it. If, yeah. I'll, I'll try and Wait, show you. Wait, you recorded it? Uh, I just did it at school, like in front of our friends and shit. Oh, damn. It was terrible. Wait, but, so, so you but were... But she in, thought it was cute, so... Wait, wait, so in the middle of high school... Yeah, at lunch or something. You just... Got up with a TP voice and, and laid a rap down. You don't remember a couple of hooks? Nothing. No? It was so long ago. I don't know. <laughs> TJ, be my Valentine Day uh, girl. I don't know. <laughs> it was not good, though. So, uh, Danielle, her name, right? Yeah. Uh, DJ or Deej. Yeah. Um, what, was the one, was the, what was your pickup line to get her to talk to you? Oh, pick, I, there was no pickup line. Work. So, how we met, our friends were dating at the time. We had the fr same sort of friend group because of soccer. Mm -hmm. Our friends were dating. We started hanging out. And then we just started talking on, on AIM at the time in MySpace. So we just, I was just doing what my thing. What was your AOL instant messenger name? Uh, I think it was just T Polch. Okay. It wasn't anything funny. Nothing funny. Yeah. But then we moved up to top friends on MySpace and I was little by little. doing my thing. Yeah. I got friend zoned for a little while, but. Uh, you, you, mentioned, got, you mentioned once that she got mad at you. What is the, that, that you got mad, that she got mad at you in high school and then you guys stopped? Uh, what was it? Yes. What did you do? You so we were going to So we were going to date earlier. And then she said she liked me, so yeah. I, was, I was geeking out, I was stoked. I went to a friend's birthday party that she was supposed to go to, but she got, she got hurt and she ended up not going to the party or whatever. Yeah. And I wasn't supposed to tell anyone that she told me that she liked me. Yeah. And I told my best friends. Yeah. My best friend snitched to one of her friends, so yeah. she found out and she was pissed. That, that you told that you were happy that she liked you. Yeah, I think it's stupid, but she she has her own version of the yeah. story. So. No, she, I, I remember going and she, and she said <laughs> that. Um, what is uh, the best present you ever gotten her? Uh, hmm. Besides the engagement ring, obviously. Probably like a, a very nice coat or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you were to team today... Pick the four players that you would definitely have on your team. And I know this puts you in an awkward position Oof. because you have to drop one of your teammates right now. Yeah. So the I'm, easiest thing I'm to do torn. is just grab them from everywhere. Uh, definitely who? Hmm. Your, let's, best, let's, let's, your, your let's, best bet to have a dynasty team, the third dynasty in, uh, in college. Let's history. just bring back the Cole EG dynasty with us five. Which is? Me. Aches, Crim Six, Clay, Karma. Ooh, Ooh, that is a nasty squad. Even to this day, that would be a nasty squad. All right, Teep, thank you for stopping by. Thanks, man. 600 seconds went by super fast. I appreciate you. We'll see you guys on the next one.